what has happened is that unfortunately Ben Jurasovic, um, senior QC, um, misunderstood what was asked of him. So when our legal minds looked at it, um, basically I told me, Prime Minister, don't waste your time, don't read it. It's, 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 um, they misunderstood what was being asked of them. So we asked um, um, Senior Counsel Mendes, Douglas Mendes, who better understands the Caribbean and, and Belize. And then he took a deeper look into it. And then he made the opinion that he believes that the minister did have the legal authority to do it. But I think that we need to move on from this because I, we took it to cabinet and yes, we, we prepared everything because that's what we do to cabinet. And, um, but right there in cabinet, within 15 minutes, we decided that we don't want to proceed this way. And so I, I, I told cabinet, I, I pulled it back, I said, I'm pulling back this paper and I, put, I instructed both Minister Mala as the Minister of Tourism and Minister Koyi as the Minister of State and the Ministry of Finance <clears throat> to meet with all the parties. <clears throat> and to come up with something different and something new and something that is going to be more palatable to everybody and that can meet the legal requirements in making such a big investment. They're working on that and I'm hoping that within the next few weeks um, we will be able to, to present something that can move this project um, forward.